welcome back to my channel. I'm still in full force with my Christmas decorating and today we're in the kitchen. I'm going to be doing my Christmas tablescape for the kitchen. It's not going to be a full tablescape yet. I'm just going to do the centerpiece today and I will have the complete tablescape for you when I do my Christmas home tour. So I'm excited about getting everything finished up so I can work on that home tour for you. I'm also going to be working on this back countertop. I don't have anything on it. It's been housing all of my Christmas stuff as I've been decorating. So now it's time to get that done. I've got it cleared off and ready to go. I've pulled a few things. So let's take a look at what I've pulled and let's get to decorating. Here's a sneak peek of all the things I've pulled for the tablescape. I need to go get some more of these picks, but I think I'm gonna use those. And then you notice it's gonna be like a white, silver, and red theme with little bits of green thrown in. There's some green in the table runner and then the green on these presents. And it's also going to be a present theme. So it's gonna be traditional and I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna end up being pretty, but not so over the top. It's gonna be a little bit on the simpler side. At least I'm saying that now. We'll see how it ends up coming together. And then I pulled a few of these things that I'm thinking about possibly using on the back counter here. So we'll see. And then I did start working on this vignette um, the other day. So here's my tea back here with this. So I've started working on this vignette and I still need to do a few things with it, but I'm kind of liking how it's coming together. So we may work on this. I'm not sure if we'll do that in this video or if you'll have to wait until my home tour to see the finished product of that too, or I might end up showing it on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not already. The Table Runner is from Target this year. I love that it has more of a traditional feel to it because I was wanting to have more of a traditional feel throughout all of my decor, even though I still kept a lot of white in my decor, which I think also makes it feel more modern. So you'll see in this tablescape that it's gonna end up being white and silver so it's gonna have a an elegant modern feel yet still traditional and i think these table runners are part of what helps ground it in that traditional feel The present box is a galvanized box that I found at Hobby Lobby a few years ago and I spray painted it white and then covered it with the silver mesh and then I also added the ribbon to it and if you've been with me for a while you'll know that my mom made the bow on top of it for me. I was planning on using this in my dining room on that table but then after I started decorating the living room I ended up loving it in here so i decided to go ahead and use it in here and i'm just going to go all out with the present theme for this tablescape the lid comes off of the present so i've put some fairy lights inside of it so at night it gives a nice glow and they're on a timer so i don't have to worry about turning them on every day the mercury glass christmas trees are from target this year and i just love them i think they were such a great price for the quality of what you get so I'm gonna end up putting a candle inside of them to just help them illuminate a little bit at night. I think you could also put fairy lights if you wanted to, and I don't even think you'd be able to see the battery pack. I found these glass boxes a few years ago at the thrift store, and I just fell in love with them. At the time, they were filled with old-timey colored Christmas lights. I took all of that out and replaced it with these silver and red Christmas ornaments. And I also strung some fairy lights through there as I was putting in the balls. And then I changed out what used to be a gold ribbon, old, you know, old dingy gold ribbon. And I changed it out with this beautiful, just silky white ribbon. And I have always loved these. I've been using these for the last couple of years and absolutely love them. And I thought they would be so pretty on the table because they light up. And since our table is back facing um, and we don't really have anybody sitting on the other side of the table, it doesn't bother me that I have the light packs back there. Uh. 
Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. 'Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm-mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day. I wanted to add some greenery to soften things up a little bit. So I'm using these picks that I found at Hobby Lobby, I think last year. The thing with these is that they're very stiff, so they're hard to work with, and then things fall off of them pretty easily between all the flocking and the little berries. So I had to be really careful when I was using them. I started out with three and then I ended up deciding that it was going to be best with two because what I wanted to do was situate the presents kind of sitting inside of them. And so it took me a long time to be able to get the presents in the way that I wanted. I started out putting the silver present with the gold bow closest to the white center box. And then I decided it would look better with the green next to it and then bring the silver and gold out to the side. And I was thinking I wanted to bring in a little more gold. So I tried using these large ornaments that I had that I picked up at Lowe's this year, but I just couldn't get them to work in a way that I thought looked right because I felt like it started getting too crowded as I took things out. So I also had to play with my placement of my Christmas trees and the glass boxes on the end a little bit. Um, but I think overall it ended up turning out great. Stay with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend. Chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. Once I ended up getting my little present boxes situated the way I wanted, then I ended up um, putting in these sparkly silver and white picks that I found at Hobby Lobby. I got these a couple of years ago, and unfortunately, I only found a few of them. I can only find three in my stash. I think I have more than that, but I know I don't have a lot of them. When I went, they only had a few, and I've seen red ones like this since then, but I've never seen the silver and white ones again since I bought these. So I went ahead and put one on each side and just kind of placed it in between the two presents on the side, and I think that was perfect to fill in that space and just give it a little more oomph and a little something special in the center there. silver bells at the thrift store and I really thought they would be the perfect thing to add to the table because they could actually act as a conversation piece and I love the history behind them. They each have a year on them. One was 1984, one 1989, and one was 1994. And I can look back on all of those years and remember significant things 
from my life in those years. Not only do these bring back my own personal memories, but I can sit and look at these and wonder, what was the history with the people that received these? Was it for a baby that was born that year or what was the significance when they bought these? I thought they were not only a beautiful addition to the table, but a conversation piece and something special to remember past Christmases. I ended up adding another pick in between the mercury glass Christmas trees and the glass presents. I think it makes it look as if maybe it's a garland that was spread across the table even though it's not. And I think if I had some little bit of frosted greenery that I could put right in front of the mercury glass Christmas trees, it would be really pretty and kind of fill in that space. But I think even so, this looks good and I think I like it a little bit better than leaving it off but let me know what you think do you like it better with these extra picks or do you prefer it if i just left the picks in the centerpiece and not off to the sides like this really happy with the centerpiece i think it looks great and i cannot wait to do the full tablescape this will be the centerpiece but i am going to add the place settings to it later and like i said i'll be showing you that during my christmas home tour i'll have it all set with the christmas plates and let me tell you, I am so pleased with my Christmas place settings. I think you're gonna love it too. I can't wait to show you. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on your bell notifications so when I do my home tour, you'll be able to see the final tablescape. And remember, I'm also gonna be finishing up the place settings and tablescape in my dining room as well. If you saw my dining room decorate with me, that was part one because I still have part two coming where I do the entire table. but I knew I wanted it to carry in from the living room all the way through the table to the back as your eye goes across. I wanted everything just to seem seamless. I played around a little bit trying to figure out, at first I was thinking I would use a tray and then I realized that my square tray wasn't gonna work and I didn't wanna do a cake stand or anything like that. I have this Merry Christmas sign that I picked up at Lowe's this Christmas and I think it's so pretty and I love that it would carry the red and white in through the table. And then I also have this glittery deer that I also found at Lowe's and I think it is so pretty. So I wanted it to have a prominent space where I would see it all the time. So I decided to pair that with this gold Christmas tree that I also found at Walgreens and it lights up, but I'm probably not gonna turn it on because I ended up putting this deco mesh in front of it and I love how the deco mesh is very flowy and it just connects everything. I thought it was too bare without it. I didn't like it, but I also wanted to keep it really simple and I think the deco mesh was the perfect thing to just tie everything together. And I think it almost looks snowy as if I can picture the deer and the Christmas tree out in the wild and. It just reminds me of winter and Christmas, but I still thought it was missing something. So I decided to bring in these little Christmas present ornaments that are from Hobby Lobby. The colors are perfect because it allowed me to bring in some more of the green and red and a little bit of gold from the table. So I ended up spreading out my green ornaments because I really wanted to carry through that green like I said, all the way from the living room through the green that's on the table back into this space. 
and I think it looks perfect. And then I still thought it needed one little thing to just finish it off. So I went and picked up some of these little pieces off of some of the picks that I use throughout a lot of my Christmas decor. I have a lot of extras that are just little pieces that have fallen off. So I just picked some of those and just spread them out in the front. And I think this looks so wintry and Christmassy and ties perfectly in with my table. And once I get my complete tablescape, I know I keep saying that, but y'all, you are gonna love my tablescape. If you like the centerpiece, I promise you're gonna love the complete tablescape. I can't wait to get it done for you and show y'all what that looks like. things fairly simple in the kitchen so in my pedestal I'm just adding a few silver pine cones and I wanted to soften it up and then also bring in a little more color to it so I ended up adding some of these gold pieces from some potpourri that I have and then I ended up adding a few sprigs of greenery from an old garland that I had taken apart because I feel like that just softened things up and then it brings in a little more green and gold into that area as well when they see you holding me so near I see snowflakes on the chimneys And the candles have a certain glow A secret and a song, even church bells sing stove I'd already started playing around with my silver pedestal that I got from the Pottery Barn outlet for like I don't know y'all I think I ended up paying like $16 for this it was regular $80 or something so anyway I got a great deal on it and I knew I wanted to use it in my kitchen so I thought this would be the perfect corner for it and I started playing with some things and I like what I have but I feel like it needs a little bit more the silver greenery that I have on it, I believe it was from Dollar Tree, maybe last year or a year before, I don't know. But I took it off of the stems and made it little individual pieces and spread it around. And the reason I put the two napkins down, which you end up not even seeing them in the end, I put those down just so that the things wouldn't scratch the silver pedestal. And then I'm using a little wreath at the bottom. So I'm just fluffing the wreath and then just rearranging things. And I brought in a few more of those little presents here because I thought they would work perfectly. I already had this one that was from Dollar Tree a few years ago, but I think I only have the one little styrofoam present like that. So I thought these other two little presents would carry in from that other corner that I just did. And then I thought that this needed some red also. So I'm just adding a few little red ornaments. And then I also ended up adding some of the little greenery because I also feel 
like that just softens things up and I like the different contrast in colors of greenery in the forest I like when we used to live in Alaska one thing that I always thought was so beautiful was it wasn't just one color green there were so many different types of green colors all within the one forest so I think that it just adds a little something to have that and then the snowman that I have, which I think is so cute, I had him from years ago. He was in my old traditional Christmas stash that I have not looked at in years. So I ended up using him. I thought he was really cute with this. And then the gold sleigh was a thrifted item that I had. And I just filled it with some little pieces of picks that I had. And again, I don't have much of this, so just a little bit I think worked and the little silver greenery that I have on top the picks that were from Dollar Tree I didn't have many of them either but I think I was able to make it work by just pulling them to the front and then I added a little more of my little sprigs of greenery towards the back so it looked like it had something back there for a little finishing touch on this I'm using these little Santa Claus candles that I've had for years. I found them in my stash of old traditional decor that I had and so I thought they would be perfect here. I had four of them so I'm putting two here and I ended up adding two to my tablescape. And the Christmas tree sign was also from my old stash of traditional things and I wanted to find a place to use it so I thought it went well with this vignette. The city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents are still by the tree They don't mean a thing till this here with me If you know If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe and join our community. And remember to turn on your bell notifications so when I come out with my Christmas home tour and my other Christmas videos, you'll be the first to know. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.